What's up guys, it's Bucky, welcome to 12th Java tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys about something called a switch statement. Now what a switch statement does is test one variable, and depending on the out, depending on the value of that variable pretty much, it gives you multiple choices. So before we uh, learn the switch statement, let me show you what we had to do with our knowledge so far say we let's make like a program that tells you what kids do at a certain age so say we have a program that has a variable called age and the kids age is three right now what we'd have to do right now is make an if statement for each age and put if age is equal to one and then we would have to put something like um, system then we would put out and stuff like that and it would just get a pain in the butt and then we would have after one we would put if age is equal to two is equal to two and then do your stuff down here and as you can see we don't want to type all that stuff for each number so I wish there was an easier way just to test age for a bunch of different things well actually you don't have to write ten different if statements if you want to test age ten times you can only write something called a switch statement once and it will give you many different options so instead of writing 10 different if statements to see what a kid does from ages 1 to 10 let me show you guys uh, what to do what you do is write the word switch and what switch does is find the variable value in the parameters so what variable do we want to test we want to test age so after this you just go ahead and write curly braces and give yourself a nice little switch body now instead of writing um, a bunch of if statements all you would have to do is write they're called cases now what case means is if the value of age is equal to one what do we want to do and after case one go ahead and put a regular colon and I don't know if you guys can see this but this is a regular colon after the one and not a semicolon so in the case of one um let's go ahead and system out print line so what can they do at one um you can crawl and then after this you want to add something called break now what break does is it means all right if this is true and age equals one then we have no reason to go to the rest of the program so you can just exit and I'll be talking about that more later but for now uh, just make sure you have it so you can just uh, repeat this for as many options as you want so in the case of two uh, what do we want to happen let's just copy this copy save yourself some time um, you can talk so in the case of two if age equals two what do we want to do we want to print you can talk and then break and let's go ahead and make one more in the case of three again using lazy you don't feel like typing at all in the case of three you can uh, get in trouble and I know I spelled trouble wrong but just deal with it so here's what you do you put switch and then put the variable you want to test the value of then you put the values that are possible after the word case now after in the case body what you do is write alright if age is equal to one here's what I want you to do if age is equal to two here's what I want you to do if age is equal to three here's what I want you to do and the last thing you have in every switch statement is something called a default and to do that you just write default and what this does is if none of those values are true it does a default statement so let me scroll up a little bit so you can see and again you don't need a value for this like default for because it already knows alright if everything else is false this is what you're going to do so that's why you don't need a value so let's go ahead and write actually let me go ahead and copy this since I'm lazy copy um, if default let's go ahead and write um, I don't know how old you are I don't know how old you are and of course we have a break at the end of this as well if I can get it right break so let's go ahead and run this with age equal to three and let me show you guys what it does it outputs you can get in torable 
and it's supposed to be trouble but I typed it wrong so and let me recap well let me show you guys what default does so if age isn't equal to one two or three say age is equal to seven and I run this it says I don't know how old you are so let me recap one last time what this switch statement does a switch statement takes the variable whatever is in its condition and tests it so then it looks through the cases to see what value that variable is equal to if it's equal to the value one it prints this if not it doesn't do it at all then it looks if it's equal to the value two if it is it prints this if not then it skips this as well then it looks if it's equal to the variable three if it is it prints this if not again it skips all of these and then if it doesn't hit any one of these then it goes default and what default means is I ran through all these options and none of them worked so by default I gotta do something this can't be just a waste of a program so by default I want you I want to output I don't know how old you are so that is how you can use the switch statement to test a single variable for many different values and this will save you a bunch of time and keep you from writing a bunch of different if statements and trust me it's a whole lot easier than writing a bunch of if statements so that's your basic on the switch statement um it will save you a bunch of time so thank you guys for watching hopefully you learned a little something uh copy this play around with it and pretty soon you'll be an expert it's a switch statement so again thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next tutorial